What's up, StarCraft fans? Today we're doing a tier list for a memorable boss on Void Launch. Um, Brian, let's hear about the mutation. Void Launch is the map where we have to shoot down Naemon's shuttles. There are seven waves of shuttles, which increase in size, number of prongs, and escorts. Okay. We cannot let more than four shuttles escape, otherwise we lose the game. Mighty enemy heroes escort every attack wave and enemy heroes and shuttles upon death temporarily disable our units from attacking or using abilities within 9 range. Okay, so with me today are Tutu and Stixbender. How are you guys today? Good. Good. We're doing good. Awesome. Everything's good. Alright, so uh, let's begin. Stixbender, how are you going to rank commanders this week? <clears throat> okay, so there are two big concerns here, um, which... Wow, I know. What a shocker. There's two mutators and there's two big concerns. Um, <clears throat> the first thing is that the heroes are decently scary. Uh, they're, they aren't the massive swarm of heroes that it used to be with old memorable boss, but heroes from the storm heroes are still pretty scary. Uh, and the second concern is that the objective on this map is multiple separate little health bars and each of them is a heroic unit. So when you kill one shuttle, it will moment of silence your army, so it's going to be hard to kill the remaining shuttles unless you kill them all at once. So those are the two things you're going to have to worry about with uh, your commander choice, and you're going to want to try to look for solutions for those two problems. Unless you're buildings. <laughs> anyway, yeah. how about buildings, you? Buildings are a solution to the second problem. They are a poor solution to the first problem because Kerrigan and Nova both have nukes, which causes issues if you're a building um how about you Tutu? so um moment of silence and heroes from the storm synergize extremely well so making this mutation extremely difficult commanders who can do oh um knowledge about each hero's abilities and how to bait them or like what kind of spells or abilities they have is important because you need to know like how to trigger Nova's nuke so that she doesn't use it on your buildings. Or sa same with Kerrigan, and like you know how you need to bait the Haka's drag so that he doesn't grab your important units, etc. Commanders who can do well without really needing this extra knowledge will get a higher, higher um, ranking. That's interesting. So. Uh... Six better focus or did focus like he 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 broadly defined uh how both objectives or how or rather how both mutators make it difficult and Tutu sp uh, focused in on uh, the heroes in particular. So uh, let's begin. Abathur, what do we have him? Abathur, um, probably gonna use P two swarm hosts because um you just overwhelm the heroes with swarm hosts uh the the locusts and. Even when um, a group of locusts gets hit by Moment of Silence, you're going to have another group almost immediately. The early game is rough because you have to lure. You pretty much have to lure at least get one or two brutalists by five minutes. Jim, uh, first one is Rainer. Rainer's not that hard, but after after that, it gets more, more and more difficult. So uh, I I put him in B. How about you, Zixbender? Yeah, so an important note with that after Rainer gets hard thing, uh, at level, or uh, not level, uh, at six minutes when we get wave number two, I believe that's at six minutes, uh, five. there's a uh, five. Well, then there you go, because that's a significant power spike for Amon, because mm -hmm. uh, that's when he gets Dahaka and Tychus in a single wave, and those guys are scary together. Uh, yes. They they are scary. So you're going to want to have uh, you're going to want to have brutalist for Tykes and Dahaka, or else very bad things are going to happen to you, and it's going to be unhealthy. Uh, Dahaka having a stun and a heal plus Tykes's DPS is nasty. So yeah, he Abathur gotta have that fast early game. Gotta have those brutal that brutalist scout. So you're gonna have to figure out how to farm, and then once you have farmed, you still have to worry about moment of silence. Uh, 
At least Simba so, chewed through moments of silence, right? I think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah. And at least you have toxic nests. Toxic nests are great. Toxic nests are very good. Uh, so with all that, the early game's going to be rough. And then I don't really see any huge advantage out of the wrath in the late game to like give you a justification for having a bad early game. <laughs> so I don't think... Abathur's the greatest option here. So, personally, I feel like Abathur would be like C tier. What did Tutu say he was? Tutu C. said B. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For what it's worth, That's... I also have him in B. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not completely off a bit uh, then. That's good. I like not being completely off. So, uh, are you gonna fight for C? Nah. <laughs> All right. Let's have him in B. Alara, where do we have him? Oh, by the way, without prestige, oh. where does Ab Abathur fall? Still B. Same. All right, Alarak. Where do we have him? Alarak. Uh, so Alarak's weird because he is he is he is glass cannon. This causes life issues against Moment of Silence because if you get stunned, uh, it's gonna hurt. However, on the flip side. He has so many hero deletion tools if he can just be unstunned long enough to use them. Uh, Ascendance with Mind Blast, Obliterate Heroes. Heroes are like the one mutator where force fields are actually relevant. Um, let's see. There's... You can uh, use Wrath Walkers, which also will really mess up heroes with uh, P1 especially, and they have a lot of range. So you've got, and, and even even your mothership is just a very powerful weapon tool against heroes. So yeah, Abathur or Alarak has lots of hero killing tools. He just needs to not get stunned. <laughs> that's going to be annoying. Even for just killing the shuttles, that's going to be annoying. So Hello, we're charged. I would say... Yeah, you have structure overcharge, but either way, it's it's just it's a big it's a big pain trying to figure out how you're going to keep how you're going stunned. to keep from being stunned. Yeah, especially when you have guys like Zertul. Yes, and exactly. he's like Zertul specifically close in. <laughs> yes, he's just like you know what, sup, Yolo. <laughs> Hi, I'm here in your face. Die. So, I would say Alarak can still probably eke out A tier just because his firepower against heroes is so good. But it's really gonna suck on the whole crowd control front. <laughs> okay, how about you, two, two? You have to be really good at Alarak. Like, you gotta use force fields and ascendance and not, and micro keeping Alarak in fronts, wrath walkers, or ascendants far enough, but not too far. And Makes sense. Um, you have to also have to be close to your pylon uh, or so that you can overcharge, like you're in overcharge range. And being able to consistently like gauge all that is really difficult. And um, so for a second, for the... Uh, the 10 minute wave with Nova is the most difficult one, and that's where I usually lose everything. So um, it's, it's, you want to keep your distance, but sometimes like Artanis will just charge into your army. Yeah. And then you also lose everything. So it's, I think it's really difficult to keep everyone to get, like, to keep everyone away from the dangerous heroes. They, they go towards you. Yeah. And yeah, and Talk even if you want to use force fields, like you have to know which ramps, or like you have to pull back. And if your ally doesn't pull back, then you got to fight with them. And force fields in the open don't do too much. So I put him in C because he does have good oh, wow. tools, but it's hard to keep all his stuff alive. So Sticks Better goes with A, Tutu goes with C. I actually have him B because uh, yeah, he does have firepower. But the th yeah, uh, uh, true to what Stick Spender said, he, he does have that issue. Yeah, you, you have to keep the, the guys. Also, Tutu said you got you had to keep them, the heroes away from your guys, and that alone like makes him kind of 
um dangerous, risky to use. Not not altogether uh not altogether disastrous, but it can get it can get to that point if you make like too many mistakes. So I, I actually have an MP also, similar with Abathur. Um so uh are you guys both willing to compromise with B? Can put down yeah. for now. Alright. Yeah. So uh solid. Yeah. Without prestige, I don't think that changes. It's just the mothership, right? No. I don't think it changes. All right. Without prestige, might be better. Oh, okay. Uh, Arturus, where do we have him? Manx, just masses, bunkers, and... Bunkers, you... good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you need to know how to bait the nukes so that you don't lose too many units. And you just you also like over make bunkers so that once your bunker is about to go down or goes down, you move them into a nearby yeah, one. You just retreat. <laughs> Yeah, you just retreat. You can, bunker. <laughs> you can make ESOs. I didn't have money to make ESOs, but if you can afford them, then Great. you can make a few to like deal extra damage like at the spawn points because those are easy to reach. Yeah. Um I think enemy comp does matter. Well, like a little bit, because uh if they if you have an enemy comp that wrecks bunkers, then you you're gonna not gonna last very long. Um, I put him in B because he's decent. Hmm. But yeah. So, uh, just to clarify, you you need four guys to uh to to beat the nuke, right? Or a certain HP. You need one thousand five, no, one thousand two hundred HP of units. Okay. If, if the nuke must do about that, but that wave comes with Zagara, and Zagara summons roaches at fifteen hundred HP of units. Uh, okay. Oh, 1,500 damage. Okay, 1,500. Okay. How about you, Suspender? Yeah, so P3 with bunkers is really good because not only do you have the bunkers, but if they ever pop one open, then it will blow up in their face in spectacular fashion. So that's good. Another unit that I would recommend is I would strongly recommend if you're using Manx against Heroes from the Storm, you really want to be transitioning into Pride of August grads as soon as you have the money. Yeah. If you can find the money, you want Pride of August grads. Um, an important note to keep in mind for the heroes is that of all the heroes, only one of them is actually good at shooting up, and that one is Nova. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else can shoot up, really. They they all can... Well, no, I, I was about to say they all can basic attack up, but that's not even true. A lot of them can't even basic attack up. They just can't shoot up. Uh, quite a few of them can basic attack up. Um, Artanis... <laughs> Uh, Dehaka, can't, shoot up. Dehaka Dehaka can't can. shoot up. I don't think. His 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 uh he grabs my galleons and <laughs> eats them. All right then. <laughs> Slaps I do them not to think death. He could actually shoot up. All right, there you go. Um, Artana shoots up for half damage. He he literally has half damage when shooting up compared to when shooting ground. So it's just like a yeah, water balloon. Yeah, Inja and the only spell that hits up is snipe. So and and nuke and whatever, but those can be dodged. Yeah. So basically, yeah, Nova. Nova shoots up. Everybody else is relatively non-threatening variants. If you can get a bunch of prides of August grad, uh, triple tap Yamato is also 900 damage, which uh, is definitely in the region of the hit points we're having to deal to heroes who often have like in the 1,000 to 4,000 health range. So 900 damage is pretty nice. Uh, uh, and the off chance your Rise of August Greg get more with Silas, you still have bunkers to fall back behind so they can shoot down the the shuttles. Yes, and also Prides of August Grad have double tactical jump, so assuming yeah. they aren't silenced, they don't die. Uh and if they are silenced, they have one thousand four hundred health. They still don't die. <laughs> uh they still don't die except to Nova spamming snipe on them, basically. Yep. I would say Mask is a pretty solid option here. I would put him in the A or B range personally, but also have an A. How about you, Tutu? I put him in B because I think the A people are stronger for less effort. Well, you did you did make Earth Splitters. I, I was thinking I really just oh, you didn't. I didn't. I couldn't didn't afford have money. Them. Oh yeah, right. You didn't have money. Did uh, you make prides? No, I didn't have money. 
Oh, so you just spam bunkers. You need to, you need to spam fewer bunkers early on and get prides. It is probably, really hard if you don't yeah, print the to prides. <laughs> I didn't I didn't consider I didn't consider prides at all. Prides are amazing against Heroes from the Storm. That is what makes your late game not painful. <laughs> yeah, your 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 late game will be painful without prides. So I think he can make A, but I could see him in B as well. To be honest, he's definitely difficult. I agree with like he has all he has the tools, and by all the tools, I mean he has bunkers and prides, and that's all he needs. But <laughs> he's, he's not still... easy to use. <laughs> You can still, you know, nuke the heroes if worse comes to worse today. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, yes, that too. You do have nuclear annihilation, but you can't use that for every wave. Yeah, true. Um, and, yeah, it, like, basically, uh, Mace can't slip up on his macro, because if he falls a little bit behind, next he's just not going to be having enough stuff, and he's gonna lose everything, and he's just gonna be dead. Hmm. So, uh, where do you have him? I think we could put I, I said A or B range. I think we can put him in B because of difficulty issues with Mengsk in this case. Hmm. I actually have an A, but okay. If you guys both say B, I, I'll uh, I'll defer. Um, Artanis, where do we have him? So Artanis. Uh, ever since the existence of P3 Artanis, suddenly he's really quite good against Heroes from the Storm. Uh, Moment of Silence will mess that up a little bit because. Well, your Archon dudes are the big thing that makes Heroes from Storm a lot less scary. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't work so good when the Archon dudes kill one hero and then they are stunned. Stagger it them? It still works. It still works. Uh, no, no, you don't want to stagger them. You still want to dump all of them in a big clump. It's just <laughs> like literally target fire the high health hero with them so that they can try and get both heroes as low as possible, all the heroes as low as possible before, before they kill one and then time out during the moment of silence. Okay. Either way, if you really if you really line it up, you might even be able to kill all the heroes like before the first moment of silence actually goes off, and then just everything's dead. That's great. So between Archon dudes and Solo Bombardment, you got great hero killing tools in the early game. As you said, heroes don't shoot up, and tempests are amazing. Tempests. Tempests are very good. Uh, tempests are very good units, especially against heroes from the storm, because normally the biggest problem with tempests is they overkill a lot. Uh, it is hard to overkill a hero <laughs> that has 4,000 health. Uh, Tempest also technically can outrange Moment of Silence, which is really nice for killing shuttles. Uh, and then for holding them in place, you're just going to have a bunch of minerals lying around. So anytime you need to hold the heroes in place, you just say, I cast Zealot Wall. Mm -hmm. um, all around, Artanis has all the tools, and they're very straightforward to use, to be honest. You throw Archons at waves, you Solar Bombardment really big waves, and you make Zealot Tempest. It is that simple. Um, again, he could be A or B range, I think. How about you, Tutu? Uh, the 10 minute wave is just extremely deadly, because that's when Nova comes, and <laughs> she's gonna... I, would, she's, I would save Solar Bombardment for that one, yeah. I, uh, you might... I, I used Solar on Karax, because I didn't use it on, at, I tried using it on the five minute wave and it doesn't kill the Haka. So wow. yeah, yeah, it doesn't kill the Haka by itself. No, it's not enough. Yeah, so I didn't want to use like two call downs, so I just used Archons for the Haka, and then I used Solar on Karax, so that I'd have I'd have it at fourteen for the Kerrigan Artanis wave. Mm, um, that that's tr that's fair. I typically do, I typically would worry a little less about the Kerrigan Artanis wave because, as I said, Artanis does half damage when shooting up, and Kerrigan spends a really t long time channeling her nuke, which has like a quarter of the radius of Nova's nuke. So Kerrigan just kind of sits there channeling while my Tempest wail on her. So that's fun. But yeah, so um, I think if you can like survive the ten minute wave, it becomes significantly easier. Um, you can also summon like the Archon dudes to take out the shuttles, especially like the the, the second la second to last wave with five of them, you can just summon Archons and take out all five nice. at once. Um, yeah, my strategy was the same as what Styx said, which is just Archon dudes uh, and shield overcharge, Zealot wall, 
uh, control Tempest separately and shoot them from afar while the zealots just get hit while they're hit while they're in while they're stunned, basically. Okay. I think he's easy enough for B. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have to rename this mutation. It's the memorable boss. It's the memorable bees. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's in deep. I, I, it's like each time it's like, yeah, I guess I could see B because I could definitely conceive of stronger commanders for this. But then there are going to be some in S tier to be fair. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The Haka. Where do we have him? Oh, speaking of S tier, <laughs> pack leaders ignore moment of silence. Creeper hosts can shoot the shuttles before they even get close to the conduits. And Dehaka can eat Dehaka. Yeah, so, and he says death yes. of the week. <laughs> so that's all. Uh, that's all. S tier. How about you, Six I mean, it's pretty straightforward now, isn't it? <laughs> all right. There it is. Our first S tier. Your leaders ignore everything. Dehaka. Other Dehaka and your creeper hosts don't care. Awesome. Uh, Han Horner. Where do we have him? Han Horner. Um, they require a lot of like planning and yeah just basically you need to know when to use the call downs otherwise um if you use them at like the wrong i guess you can say the wrong time you're gonna you're not gonna have enough firepower to take out the next the subsequent wave so uh also um reapers are good but if you're if the heroes get on top of the reapers you lose everything and if you lose everything you're not going to come back you're just you you it takes too long to get to to rebuild everything so um i put han horner in d how about you very unforgiving how about you suspender yeah i don't think they're quite that bad once you you know actually have a teammate taking a little bit of the pressure off of the whole i don't have it i barely have enough firepower to go around even when they're just making bunkers right tutu <laughs> yeah i knew when to use the call down so that yeah, made that, it a lot easier that helps a lot uh th there's there's going to probably be called out memorization to actually help as Hunter horner the only real big thing they have going for them is the fact that uh, heroes don't get armor upgrades, so that means things that uh, usually get wrecked by armor just shred heroes, which is why Reapers actually are uh, surprisingly good at just ripping heroes to shreds. Okay. That's like your that's like your one thing that's like ah hey you can rip heroes to shreds of reapers anyways you're gonna die horribly to moment of silence you're gonna die horribly to just the fact that that void launch has big waves it, it does I've I've uh, I've actually called void launch a one wave map before just that's that just that last wave is so huge <laughs> yeah the the converging three no honestly the last three shuttle waves each come with just a wave of that size yeah. It it the last one isn't even the one that matters. That one you can just like let it trash your base while you shoot the objectives. It's the two that are before it that are equally huge that are problems. Uh, yeah. Or yeah, you're you're probably looking at D tier just because it's like yeah. All right. At least oh. I can right click heroes pretty decently. It's actually a unanimous D, believe it or not. <laughs> Without prestige, oh. oh, yeah. No, no. Without prestige, it's even worse because being able to drop P1 mag mines like in front of the shuttles to kill them is really powerful. Oh, it's yeah, like dropping true. five, was it like what, like eight to ten mag mines, and then speaking you just blow of, up all the shuttles. Speaking of without prestige, uh, does Phoenix go down the tier without prestige? Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh definitely. Yeah. How um, about the Haka? The oh, Haka was. Oh, oh, the Haka. His pack leaders still ignore, but they're not as they don't have the double HP. So it's like so like S minus or something. Well, to I, be fair, that way you can use multiple pack leaders simultaneously as the flip side. So you should be still probably. All right, there we go. Oh, I, I guess since I mentioned the Han Horner cooldown timings, I guess I'll go over them quickly. You use call in the fleet when the heroes attack the bonus ships. That's how you remember. 
use them at the bonus chip so that they get hit by all the call in the fleet damage. You use the space station at 5, 11, 17. 5, 11, 17. So after well, yeah, the, the second wave, wave. 17, 15. The second wave. Second the, wave uh, and then whatever uh, 11 is the fourth one. Yeah, after, one. After, the, after, the first, after the second ship. Yeah. And so, then 17 and, is the one with the double shuttles. Um, yeah, the, the the double shuttles. The one after that, I think. I think I used it. Oh, yeah, the one after the double shuttles is the triple one. Oh no! Uh, oh, I used it at nineteen then. Okay, so use it nineteen. Yeah, all right. Yeah, not um, seventeen. All right. So. Uh, uh, oh yeah, this is also uh, since you brought up dropping magmines on the shuttles, I suppose we should bring up this is going to be the first week when you'll really feel that huge nerf to magmines with the whole not smashing uh, stacked air units quite as hard. And by quite as hard, I mean now it's going to take like three or four sets of magmines to kill the shuttles instead of one set of magmines is to it... kill the shuttles and have a magmine left over. Cox, where do we have him? Garex. So, heroes are painful. Uh, at least you have really good buildings, so that'll yeah. that'll mess shuttles up. And you have really good top bar, and that'll really mess shuttles up, and also uh, mess up everything that isn't a hero. Uh, and don't underestimate the value of just saying, okay, you know how the, normally people are struggling to fight this massive attack wave with heroes in it? What if they just had to fight heroes? No attack wave. I, I vaporized the attack wave. So that's that's what Karax brings to the table. Uh, and then for fighting the heroes, you probably use either Shadow Cannon Immortals and or Carriers, which are both great. Unfortunately, they're really expensive, so it's kind of hard to get that together. So the heroes are going to be a bit painful to kill. Uh, and oftentimes, you're probably going to end up just using P3 Karax, just click, 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 click. I know I'm running out of energy, but this hero needs to die. Yeah, especially Nova. Uh, you, you always prioritize Nova first, right? Yeah, Nova's Nova's Nova is the devil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit her Focus with all down the Nova first. and everything. Murder Nova. Yep. Anyways, yes. Uh, you have enough top bar to kill everything except the heroes. It's just a question of getting e the hero killing tools and. That's probably going to come down to just having a cannon wall with a bunch of monoliths in it, and all you have to do is just bait Nova's nuke so that she nukes units, not buildings. And other than that, your buildings should blow up everything. How many how many sentinels do I need to bait out a Nova nuke? Uh, 1,200. I don't remember six, how much HP ten? they have. Uh, sentinels have 200 HP apiece, 200, so... so... Six would be enough. Uh, make seven, seven to just sure. to make sure. Yeah, yeah. I would. I, I would say I would use seven to make sure. Yes. So seven, seven sentinels should bait out Nova's nuke just fine, and then that should be that. Just, yeah, literally just seven sentinels. Uh, you probably want to like bait out the nuke and run away, but if they just die horribly, then that shouldn't be the end of the world. <laughs> or let them revive. <laughs> Yes, especially if you have the revive. Well, if they revive, what's going to happen is they die to the nuke, they revive, they are standing dead center of the wave, they stop existing extremely quickly. That's true. Oh, well, so where do we have uh, them? At least they'd give vision for Solar Lance while they're dead, so that would be useful. <laughs> so where do we have Karax? B again. <laughs> B again? Really? All right, how about you, T2? I went for a different approach. Um, I used P1. Ah. And you turn on the gas. And it just snipes the heroes with the rap with the rapid fire chrono ultimate. It's so powerful. What are the timings um, that you use the? You chrono can one? even kill Nova before the nuke lands. Then the nuke doesn't land if she dies. But um, if you don't want to risk that, because you um, the first like five waves are set, but subsequent ones you don't know which heroes will come. So if you're not sure whether Kerrigan or Nova will come, you just uh, build. A bunch of sacrificial cannons that get nuked, and then after she uses it, she'll walk towards the the main the the monoliths and cannons at the conduits, which will not care about moment of silence and snipe down the remaining enemies. Can you really sacrifice quickly. like cybernetics cores instead? Do they have more health than cannons? I think you can. Oh yeah, that's well. That might be something I can do. All right, so where do you have them? I put. Uh, I put her in, I put him in A. I also have A. Yeah, um, I S, 
not S just because you need to like do some extra prep. Yeah, a cack is not S because you can't eat the haka. So, uh, <laughs> um, okay. So here's the here's the thing. So I actually also can have I, an A, but I ha- I can yeah. Go ahead. Can I also add that uh, if you do use P1, uh, you have another thing going for you, which is that your buildings now have unity barrier. Oh yeah, they, they can actually tank a nuke. Which yeah, they can tank a nuke if they haven't been hit by anything else that does twenty or more damage, which is basically everything. So well, if the building has already been punched, it will die to the nuke. But if it hasn't been really hit by anything else. Uh, it just will ignore the nuke. So that's cool. Uh, also, warning for baiting out Nova nukes. Uh, if you're using buildings for that and spawn camping them, just be careful because Nova's nuke only has a one minute cooldown. So make, make sure it again. doesn't come back. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Tutu, by the way, what, what are your timings on the, on the Corona Wave for P1? Um, I can check right now. All right. So while that's happening, are you okay with A, Sticksbender? Like putting Karax in A. Yeah, I'm okay with Karax in A. Yeah, all right. Definitely he can go in A. I, I, what I was, what I'm thinking about is like the B tier commanders. There's, they're not all Bs. <laughs> hmm. They're not all Bs. Well, they're think. memorable Bs, but. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, the timings are five for the Haka and Tychus, ten for Nova yeah, and makes sense. Uh, Zagara, fourteen for Artanis Kerrigan. The nineteen thirty one, the where triple one, the three ones are going to the three of them are going to the middle, and you have that one more sense. for the end. All right, that's that's very sensible. So you have to defeat the uh, the second to last one straight up. We should be uh, yeah. You just have to kind yeah. of block the block the wave, and then uh, just have models and cannons at whichever exit they're going to, and they should ignore more moment of silence. So. To be fair, for the second to last one, you can just use the power of having Purifier Beam Solar Lance off cooldown and having full Spear of Dune Energy and just FIRE EVERYTHING! Yeah, you can even like wait for them to all clump up when they're all about to exit, and you can just kill seven shuttles or something for the price of one. That makes uh, that makes sense. Alright. Uh, Kerrigan, where do we have him? Kerrigan. If Kerrigan dies, it's over. So... <laughs> She gets sniped. She gets grabbed, and um, yeah. So if if you if you survive five minutes, because at five minutes you have no worthy assistance. Like you make an omega worm and you get grabbed, and you hope that you're on malignant creep so that you heal fast enough, and hope that the enemy comp isn't strong enough to just kill you. Um, at ten minutes, if you um, don't kill Nova quickly enough, she will snipe you to death. So you can use brute lords and ultra or ultras for assistance, but that's like later, and it's hard to get enough of them. Uh, it's very, very, very unforgiving. So D. All right, I can actually, yeah, I can actually agree with that. By the way, without prestige, is Caxel A? He goes out to B, right? Without prestige, no, he's still A. Well, okay, without prestige, I'm not sure. I haven't really played P zero character that often, but with any prestige he can be a i yeah. think well p2 might make it a little awkward because you have to use units but on the flip side hey at least now you can get enough units that you could just use the straightforward approach of aha carriers all right um so uh how, how, where do you put kerrigan expender yeah d probably makes sense she C? Can even d oh d, d. all d. right there we go uh, potentially potentially even e like she's bad. <laughs> all right, I had her in C, Everything but yeah, those all sound sensible. So let's put her in you, D. You, you also have to like kill a hero, dodge, and like jump into Omega Worm immediately, or <coughs> else you can't do anything else for twelve seconds. Yikes! Which is not okay. <laughs> Very not okay. Yeah, there's like there's literally, honestly, Kerrigan's even a candidate to go below Haunted Horner. I think. Yes, I actually kind of agree with that too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, E tier, E tier Kerrigan. E- yeah, E. All right, e. let's demote her. E tier Kerrigan. <laughs> At least Kerrigan's on a horror, you can fight from afar. And you have call downs <laughs> that are kind of safe. <laughs> well, I mean, Kerrigan also has a call down. Uh, immobilization wave is... Um, at, okay. at least as good as Han and Horner's call downs, to be honest. Only one, though. Well, yeah. I guess it's more it's, frequent. It's, it's a very it's a short enough cooldown that basically... Basically, she's, she keeps up with them in the top bar tier 
assuming you don't get moment of silence because your top bar is, is tied to a unit. So if that unit gets moment of silence, well, I guess you can't cast it anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. Nova, where do we have her? So you have spider mines and liberators. Those those can those can shoot heroes real good. Uh, also, you have a hero unit that can actually die. It's okay. It's just minerals if they die. So that's really good. Um, you also have uh, Griffin Airstrike, which is pretty solid top bar for the whole gigantic void launch waves issue. You can um, even airlift out of Moment of Silence. <laughs> you can even airlift out of Moment of Silence. Nova has quite a few tools. Yeah, she just feels like a solid option. You've got good units. You've got a solid hero. She doesn't have anything that makes her stand out as like a top tier option, but she solid seems she's solid. She's like in the A and B range, honestly. How about you, Tutu? Um, yeah, liberators. Um, uh, they hit the ground units. They kill the heroes, and then their range is far enough, right? That they. At least not all of them will get hit by Moment of Silence. I think they match Moment of Silence range, so it's like if you fire and then kite back, then you won't get hit. Um, the shuttles, right? Yeah, for the shuttles. For the shuttles, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah, uh, they outra- they fighting... outrange Moment of Silence if they're anti ground comfortably. Yeah, that's that's the one. Because and so, you dump Raven turrets. Yeah, you Raven dump turrets. Raven turrets to hold the heroes back, and then the Liberators pew pew the heroes while they're shooting Raven turrets, and then nobody gets Moment of Silence because they have enough range. Yeah, yeah, so I, I put her in A. Okay, I actually had her in B, but both of you agree on A, so let's have her in A. She's good. Yeah. Rainer, where do we have him? He's not good. He's good. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how he would deal with heroes. Have an ally. <laughs> uh, I have okay. no idea. Like, so, uh, Banshee, uh, P3 Banshees is how I usually deal with heroes from the storm when i'm playing brutal plus six with jimmy i usually use p3 banshees they work pretty well let me ask lila <laughs> i don't know uh lila would use marines <laughs> uh, no no actually spider mines <laughs> just look at look at his solos of of uh heroes from the storm of rainer he pretty much always uses just mass it's just a mass spider mine arcade every right. single uh marines get murdered too hard by artanis mostly it's mostly Artanis is the hero he complains about the most frequently, to be honest, when he's doing Jimmy solos against Heroes from the Storm. Uh, but yeah, Spider Mines, Spider Mines, Spider Mines, Spider Mines, Spider Mines. That is that is how he kills heroes. Uh, that is an option. P th- if you're using P3, uh, which I would strongly recommend, especially for this map. Uh, if you have P3, you have Hyperion for every single shuttle wave. That's really good. Unfortunately, the recent patch did a uh change to the Hyperion, which Lila did point out, and this is true. Uh Jimmy has a solo of memorable boss. It is no longer possible for Rainer to solo memorable boss as of the latest uh bug fix patch. Rip. Because uh it was declared a bug and therefore changed that Jimmy's point defense drone on the Hyperion would block Dahaka from creating the little spawns. Dahaka can now create those little spawns, which means a whole bunch more moment of silence problems. Which literally means that Rainer can't solo this mutation anymore. According Actually, to... um, did you manage to do it? No, no, no. Uh, there, there are. There's a guy, um, a, Ch- a Chinese player who doesn't use Hy- who didn't use Hyperion on the second wave. He used Spider Mines and killed the Haka. Okay. The, yeah, and he used the Hyperion on the first shuttle wave and Carax. So okay. he didn't even need the thing. He didn't even. So the Hyper- need the So the, thing. it is still technically possible to solo. Yes, technically All possible. Right. All but right. Yes, Lila, Lila's route at least is no longer valid. So that's just that's just really like Jimmy already had a bad day here, and we just said, you know what, have a worse day. <laughs> so letter uh, E or D. I mean, I put him in. I e. mean, <laughs> you're not Kerrigan. Yeah. You're certainly not Kerrigan. Honestly, I'd put Jimmy. I'd say Jimmy is above Han and Horner. I'm just not convinced he's an entire tier above Han and Horner. So D. Better D. Yes. 
Yeah, because at least he can take care of shuttles. But <laughs> at least he can take care of shuttles. And to be honest, like P three, uh, P three with like the Banshees does a lot of damage. It's just that, and the hero spells don't shoot up as we've mentioned, aside from Snipe. And Nova only has so much energy. Nova actually has an energy bar secretly. Uh, most of the heroes have an energy bar secretly. It's just you can't see it or interact with it. You can't like feedback or EMP it. Unless you're Zeratul, then Talbris can feedback the heroes, and that makes them unable to cast spells. So that's fine. <laughs> Uh, but, like, Nova can only snipe so many Banshees, and you can take a couple acceptable losses on that, and then from there, uh, they're surprisingly safe, because none of the splash damage hits up. So, yeah, I would recommend P3, Mass Banshee, use Hyperion on every single shuttle wave, because you'll have it for every single shuttle wave, and you're not soloing this thing with that plan, but you're going to be able to give a solid contribution to your ally with relatively few difficulties so yeah i would recommend that strategy and i would say he's like top of d tier top of d tier there we go step boy where do we have him stepman anyways we uh have alternated from good nova bad jimmy good stepman uh so zerglings don't care about anything <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yes, let me just nuke your Zerglings for 10 damage. They are regenerating 16 health per second because of <laughs> set zones. <sighs> All right, <laughs> cool. Very cool. Uh, and then Gary has 2,000 health, so that's a thing. Uh, Gary just kills everything. Zerglings are great. Investors, uh, corruptors. Investors are a solid option. Corruptors are are good for murdering shuttles. I would probably use Ling Corruptor, maybe Ling Bane Corruptor. Uh, I probably wouldn't personally use Infestors typically, but you can. I They're did. <laughs> also a solid option. Yeah, you did. Uh, Statman is probably up in S tier. He's just, circlings are good. Pretty good. How about you, Tutu? Uh, on... I agree with all of that. On top of that, I think you can just also build a few spores, like so that you can yeah, I also, them, but let the spores. I also let the made spores. spores. <laughs> all yeah. right, so uh, easy S. Easy S. There you we can go. Turn on blue zone to run every time a hero's about to die. I I didn't even need to run actually. I just stayed on green and purple, and Gary didn't even to, to uh, run that far. He just um, took a step back, and he's just out of range. Pretty neat. And what are the heroes going to do? Kill your Zerglings in the span of 12 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, Stukov, where do we have him? Oh, this one. This one was interesting because I used P3 and I got the, the, the tech lab, the second one, the one that gives you more damage. That upgrade, I got it uh, as soon as possible. Interesting. And that's it typically was, what I do. You just reasons. overwhelm them with the <laughs> infested, but it's um, it's I'm kind of like silence the pain. <laughs> yeah, if they get too close, then if if they like if the RNG is not in your favor and they walk towards your buildings, then all your buildings are gone. So I put him in C. Oh, there we go. So C is not gonna be empty. Uh, how about you, Sticks Bender? Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't actually tried him against this particular Heroes from the Storm mutation. I've used him against other ones, and anytime there's Heroes from the Storm plus mutators that don't directly mess with the infested strategy, he's a great choice. He just completely overwhelms the Heroes. Moment of Silence, I'm sure, is going to slow you down a lot, but yeah, it makes sense that he's just going to be able to power through it decently well, assuming nothing goes wrong. I'll say B, but both of you say C, yeah. so that's it. Yeah, we, we, like, Bane Link Scourge against Duke, a P3 Stuke up. We all know what happens when you put Zagara on an infested map. You know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, Swan, where do we have him? Swan! Laser drill slows shuttles. I will never stop mentioning this. It's so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, there's actually decent chance you don't want to use p1 swan despite that because having top bar for the hero waves uh it's really nice uh as for units you, you have to make race uh you none of your other units can fight heroes literally like none of them it, it's just awful uh tanks absolutely cannot fight heroes early on you're probably going to want to stick with buildings and you'll transition to wraiths later so yeah floating factories will bait out like the first nova's nuke probably and 
again, like it literally doesn't even one shot the factories, assuming you have stru full structure health mastery, which is funny. Nova uses all this effort nuking your factories and they don't even die. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah, like there there is a plan to do it. So is he bad Karak or alt Karax? He's bad Karax. He is. The question is how bad Karax? I mean, he's 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 born again. He could be born again. That I think he's around B tier. I don't know. All right, B ish. How about you, Tutu? When you said when you said make wraiths, I wanted to pull out the Phoenix right card and say objection because <laughs> I made zero units, all <laughs> factories and turrets. And yeah, that was easy. That works too. So I, easy. I would I would definitely prefer to have the unit buffer just because of the fact that my buildings can be broken. But Wait, T two said so easy. So I'm I'm hearing yes. I'm surprised. Easy. I'm surprised. Like, you just have forty factories, fifty factories flying around. <laughs> and you have to manually target the ground units so they don't move forward. Because the air units, they'll hit the factories and they won't keep going. They won't progress. And then like they won't move forward. And then um, you target, you drill the heroes because they have lots of HP and they'll kill the, the drill will hit everything yeah. around it. And then you let the shuttles go to your conduits. The conduits have, are full of turrets and they'll kill all the escorts plus the shuttles with no worry. So your drill is just shooting heroes all the time. And your heroes can't do anything. They're, hit, they're slapping 2,000 HP factories and you micro the factories. You pull them back, send new ones in. And then... The, so they, basically, they, I underestimated the factory. They, <laughs> yeah. So you, so his fleet is super strong. You just like <laughs> move them around, and they pretty much stayed around like the 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 ramp where it converges towards the middle. They pretty much fight there all the time. Like they they didn't go further than that because I kept stopping them there. <laughs> so oh I God. put him in S. <laughs> Because it's so easy. <laughs> I did not think factories were that tanky. What the heck? Let, let it be known that Stix Vader said bad Karax. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I, I vastly underestimated the single best unit Swan has, the factory. Uh, all hail the factory. Forget units. Just the factory is the greatest unit that Swan has. Nothing in it. Just the factory itself. I mean, uh, you, do, you should micro the factories though, but <laughs> a little yes, bit. Yes, but <laughs> like, like he's. I I would say he's better than Karax just because there's very little risk. Because even if they get nuked, so what? <laughs> they literally survive getting nuked. Uh, why? Why is factory so tanky? Okay, well. All right. That that took an unexpected turn. All right. I did not think the laser drill was that good. <laughs> It is amazing, apparently. It, is it comp it dependent, T2, or does it do against any comp? I think it doesn't matter what comp, as long as... Well, if it's like a heavy anti-air comp, then it might not work as you well. You probably have problems against Master Goon. Uh, but for the most part, you're like shooting down... You can target the, the, the ones get, that are dealing the most damage. If you get Mass Goliaths or something... <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Honestly, Mass Dragoon, I think, is scarier than Mass Goliath. <laughs> it, Dragoons, they do Scary a lot times. of damage. All right, so um, Tychus, where do we have him? Tychus, um, I think uh, I had a bit of trouble, and then I realized that um, the first... I, I usually get serious first for Lone Wolf. Actually, for everything. I usually get serious first, but this time I had to get... I got Sam first, and then by five minutes, I got the... The one where his uh, grenade does double damage. Ah. And that's enough to kill the Haka. Before, you throw it at him and then run. This before is you get Lone grabbed. Wolf? Lone Wolf. Yep. All right. That's what I thought. And then he dies. If you don't Lone Wolf, you still do that, but you do it twice. Okay. Um, but after that, like, Karax is not threatening. Then at 10 minutes, Nova's threatening, but you have an Odin. <laughs> so you have an Odin to, like, take shots while... And, and then Sam will stun her. So, <laughs> you have Odin, then, then Nova says, I nuke you! Then Dill says, I nuke you too! <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. nuke you better! <laughs> exactly. So, you call that a nuke? <laughs> Let's tack and yeah. show you how it's real done. Uh, C 
Sirius and Sam can take care of shuttles, like and and you can lift if necessary. You like Sam can throw three grenades and then just run, and then they'll die. Hmm. So I put him in A. All right. How about you, Sixbender? Yeah, that makes sense to me. All right. The whole thing makes sense to me. All right. Cool. Um. Uh. I have a B, but like, yeah, you guys said A, so let's have an A. Zagara, where do we have her? Zagara, P, I don't think, oh no, I tried P1. You might run out of stuff. You run out of stuff by like 10 minutes. So <laughs> that's no uh, P3 is much, yep. much better. P3, um, you basically use uh, 100 killers and Baneling Barrage, and you just kite them until they die. <laughs> And then if they don't die, then you throw in a few free banelings or you let them walk into your bio launchers, which are placed at the conduits. Co- bio launchers plus um, spores. Hey, and that'll take care of shuttles. To those guys who had Tutu saying bio launchers on your uh, tier list bingo cards, you can check them off now. Yes. <laughs> so where do you have her? C. C. Because, uh, yeah, that like she's, she's fine, but... I don't. I don't think she's better than the B people. Okay, how about you, Sixpender? She's as good as Stukov. <laughs> really? Good? No, I think she was good. I don't think she's. I don't. She's definitely not. Not down there. Not yeah, the sure. level. P three is really good. Like, she. You have hunter killers. She doesn't get grabbed. She doesn't get nuked. She yeah. doesn't really get sniped because you. When Nova comes, you throw in your banelings. <laughs> You roll the banelings in when Nova comes, so she dies more quickly. Yeah. All or you right. drop roaches on her. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if you say so, I guess I can see it. I mean, Stukov doesn't we wasn't doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> so yeah. That's, yeah. All right. Have Zagar yeah. in there. All, all right. right. Zertul, where do we have him? In F tier, so he can fill it out. <laughs> oh, he's 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 either A tier or he's S tier. He's one of those yeah, two. He's, uh, one of those two. he's, good. he's got cannons good, but I wouldn't actually use that many cannons here. I would mostly rely on uh, Dark Templar. You kidding? Cannons are what originally advised people on on, on the original memorable boss. What more about, about this one? Uh, there are fewer heroes, therefore there is fewer stuns, so now you can more focus on just, yeah, I want to have things that can, uh, kill the heroes faster. Alright. <laughs> Which, Dark Templar are tankier and higher damage than cannons. Yeah, they have to worry about moment of silence. Uh, eh, you could just go mass cannon, that works too. Uh, either way, uh, P2's air tool is going to reach a point where it's just like, oh, I have, I don't care about anything anymore. <laughs> I kill everything. I have too many artifacts. All right. How about you? Two oh two? yeah, and your hero unit. Your hero unit also gets the uh, window of invulnerability, which can help you shake uh, some crowd control effect from heroes. And by that, I mean Dahaka Lick. <laughs> okay. How about you, two? two? Did you mind? Um, <laughs> cannons are good, but they're not great. Hmm. Uh, I think Void Templar is better. The Void Templar would be better against most comps. But cannons are much easier. You still make cannons for at the at the conduits to take care of the shuttles, but you don't make as many if you use Void Templar. I went for mass cannons because I want to do the brainless strategy. So uh, it was it my 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 um, cannons still kind of got wrecked, like not towards the end. Towards the end, it was kind of rough. I like um, I like how we're calling it the Braille strategy and Harst of just last week learned how to do it. <laughs> so uh, where do you put her? Uh, uh, a. A. I put an A. Okay, so um, I had an S, but both of you guys agree with A, so I'm okay with A. I mean, A is not I, bad. I'd be okay with him in S, but I, I'm not going to push for him in S. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, who's the best among the S? Stepman. I would say I still feel like too. there are people in B who could have been an A, but yeah, yeah. I mean, we can yeah. just move them around. We can move them around later, I guess. We yeah. can move them around once you've ordered the tiers. Uh, Stepman is the best S. Yes, that. Yes, Stepman. Yes, Stepman, Dahaka, Swan. 
in that yeah, order? Yeah, that makes sense to me, too. All right, there we go. Um, uh, who's the... Okay, so either Vors or Zertul are at the top oh, of A. There were S candidates. Vors is I, definitely I, above Zertul, I would I say. I think Tychus is better than Zertul. Tychus is better than Zertul? I would agree with that, too. Probably. Yeah. Sam is so good. Oh, yeah. For okay. this one. So, so between Nova and Carax, who's better? I think it's Nova, but I'm not sure. I think Carax is better because it's just like he takes care of shuttles too. Yeah, I guess like, he worries yeah. less about moment of silence. I mean, your your liberators do pretty solid DPS to shuttles, and they do AOE, so they can hit all the shuttles at once. But they do care strike. about <laughs> oh yeah, orbital strike, yeah, and can but and orbital this. strike. And Chrono and Super Chrono. <laughs> yeah, no, but like the big thing is that Orbital Strike is basically like, even if everything falls apart and all your units die, if you could just get vision of the conduit, you can nuke the shuttles going through it. And Orbital Strike has that unique, that unique feel of when you're when you're on, on the brink of victory or defeat at the last at the very last moment of the game, when you click as fast as you can, it actually does matter that time. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Vaporize them from orbit! Uh, oh, also, uh, if you have Stunning Orbital Strike, it slows shuttles by 50%. Oh, really? Yeah. My goodness. So you can buy a few extra seconds before they warp away. Nice. All right. I should get that upgrade then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so among the B guys, um, who are we considering to get to A? Arcturus and... Alara? Artanis. Artanis. Yeah, Arcturus and Artanis. Okay. I would put Artanis at the top and then Arcturus personally, I think. Like this? Yeah. You agree to two? Uh, yeah. I think that's reasonable. Alright. And then... Hmm. I think Abathur's the bottom. Abathur's the bottom? Yes. Alright. Phoenix above Alarak? Because Phoenix is easier. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, I can see that. There we go. So on the C, uh, 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 on C, Stuko is better, right? Zagara is better. Zagara is better than Stuko? Yeah. Zagara, you have control of like what happens. Stuko, you're just hoping nothing just bad happens. Just hoping nothing bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or rather, if Stuko, you're hoping that not, not enough stuff, that enough bad stuff doesn't happen. Bad stuff will happen. Just you just hope you just hope that it's not enough to tip the scales. Um, yeah. Yeah, you and I mean, like the biggest the biggest thing that makes me feel like Zagara can go above Stuka is the fact it's just like even aside from all the like yeah the heroes are all painful all that, but at least the shuttles will die to scourge. Yeah. There's that bright side no matter what. It's now, just that... a handful of scourge and the shuttles are gone, so you don't have to worry about that at least. And she's C because when you when you spam click the scourge onto this onto the shuttles, it doesn't actually change anything. But with Carax, when you spam click the orbital strike, it does something. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, D tier. Jimmy's above Han and Horner. That's that's easy. He's way above Han and Horner. <laughs> All right. He's got a tier above, but he's above. All right. Yeah, I can see that. I. I why didn't I? Why did I go Kerrigan? Did you? When, when you said commanders, why did you tell me to go Kerrigan? Oh, I didn't Never think boss. Kerrigan was that bad. Okay. I thought Jimmy was the worst. All right. No, I'd rather be Jimmy than Kerrigan. <laughs> when, I, when I played Kerrigan, I realized how painful it was. All right, eh, that's fine. Okay, then uh, I think that's it. That's his tier list. I'm not sure if the uh, I think. I think the uh, the discussion on was it Phoenix? I kind of forgot. It was, it was almost yes, two hours it was, ago. It was Phoenix. It was shorter than the Vorazun discussion. Don't worry. Shorter than the Vorazun discussion? I am almost certain. Yes. I think the the we'll Vorazun discussion. Was, yeah, I'll find out later. But we'll see. All right, guys. I will link Sticks Better and Tutu's channels down below. I, I apologize that they don't have the speaky bar things right now, but that was a trade off because Tutu was no longer disconnecting this call. So yeah, Yay. I will see you guys next time.